Hey guys, IO Crypto Mining here. So today we're doing a little bit more advanced uh, kind of talking and thinking and processing what's going on because profits have been way up and it's been way up on the not the normal coins. Um, actually, even the normal coins, uh, the ergos of the world, the conflicts of the world, the ones we've talked about, they're up as well, but it's because everything's the level's gone up on everything. So it is making uh, some of these odd coins, uh, the hash rate goes up on them because the price has gone up quite a bit. And then the normal coins, like the ergos and the complexes and radiance, that hash rate has dropped, but the price has been up a little bit as well. So it's it's been very good, very profitable for a lot of people, uh, no matter what the what the power rate is. So we're gonna talk a little, little about that, a little bit about that, and we're also gonna look at my strategy going forward. So the last month, it's been a little bit since I did a video, and the last month what I've been doing is I've been bouncing all over the place. Uh, and last video we kind of talked about this uh, high highest yield um, triple mining. And then kind of just bouncing between coins and, and that kind of stuff. And I was on like 8, 10, 12 different coins in the past month. I liked it and I didn't like it. And the reason why I, I liked it was I was getting bags of everything. I could kind of follow the hash rate and kind of and kind of go with that. What I didn't like about it was it made my, my rigs very unstable. Some, some cards didn't like certain miners, didn't like certain coins. And then I'd change it and it'd go down and I had to reset it back up and change in the overclocks. It was just a lot of work for maybe not enough profit, not, not enough gain. Um, and so what I'm doing now is this month I plan on going whatever is most profitable, which is still for me, it's still triple mining. But, and then I'm going to exchange out to uh, different coins. And so instead of having a huge bag of ergo or conflicts and then radiant, I'm going to move some of that out. I'm going to keep some radiant, but I'm going to move like all my ergo conflicts. I'll keep a little bit, but I'm going to move some of that out and get bags of these other coins that I don't have as much of that I think are, will be better long term. And so some of those coins are Nova, uh, Alephium, and then uh, Nexa. And Nexa, I might mine a little bit, but that that's a good example. Um, and then Chlor, Neuro AI. And Dynex, and so I know a lot of people are mining Dynex. It's still good for quite a few people if you have a higher, uh, higher uh, electrical costs. I don't, so it's not as profitable for me, even at this, you know, the price jumping like crazy. Uh, Neuro AI and Chlor, since they're Kapow, it's actually something for me to keep in mind because I might be able to mine that where most people can't and, and still make profit. And we'll talk about Chlor here in a little bit. So. Um, and Game Pass is another one. I don't have it on this list here. I have been mining it. I do have a decent bag of it. Um, but that is something else I'll trade into. Um, or maybe mine just one or two rigs on the side. But I'm going to have my whole, the main chunk of my my miners, you know, my GPUs and stuff, mining what's the most profitable for me. So if we look at the profitability sheet here, and this is updated as of you know, tonight on the 8th, it's... It's pretty good, and this is at five cents. So we'll show it ten, we'll show it fifteen, but at five cents here, I have my pick of the litter, whatever I want to mine, and it's actually Neuro, like the Kapows, so uh, Nyaxa, Meow, Neuro AI, Chlor, and Game Pass. Right now, Chlor is the highest uh, profitability, just by a little bit over Game Pass and Neuro AI. Nyaxa is not too far behind. Um, but then, you know, Radiant is still technically the best. Ergo, Radiant, Zill. Um, Here's the thing, though. I don't have Zill added into these numbers. I should add them in because there's no reason not to be dual mining with it. Um, it would actually raise this up probably 75 bucks, give or take. So technically, Chlor is what I should be mining right now. Um, and then keeping it, my, uh, switching it out, whatever. Um, most of that, though, is it's because the price is so high. And so if the price is going to be high in, in two weeks, and you know, then that makes sense for me to mine that and then switch that into, you know, move some of it into some other coins. So that might be something I do here. Actually got me thinking on this. So I'll, I'll look at it here after this video. So let's take a look at like 10 cents, a 10 cents power rate. What's that change for the rest of this? Uh, now we've seen some red. Uh, so our top one here would be Ergo Radiant Zill. It'd still be triple mining. Um, but like I said, you're not adding in that uh, that extra zill on the kapow. So technically, you probably should still be doing kapows and stuff if you're doing the dual mining. If you're just doing just the single mining, 
Kapow is still the best. Uh, or I'm sorry, uh, Kapow is probably the best. Or if you can triple mine, do that. So that's just something to keep in mind. This is this is why I make these spreadsheets. You can play with this. You can set it up to what works for you. So these are with my rigs, with what I have. And so most of these are 30, uh, 30 series. So I have 17 3060 Ti's, 12 3070s. I have six 3060 Ti's and seven 3080s. So if you have something like that, the numbers should be pretty similar. But if you have a lot of AMD cards and stuff, I don't have AMD added in here. And so that's not what I'm looking at. So you can add this and set this up to work best for you. So you can switch your, your cards to make it uh, reflect what you have, what your farm is. So I'm just, these kind of examples. So as you can see, you still have some good choices. You know, Radiant, uh, Nexa has been pretty good. Even Dynex is up there. It's pretty close. Um, and then like Nova is one I've been keeping an eye on. It's not, it's tough to trade and that kind of stuff, but it's up there. And even the Bitcoin Gold and the Bitcoin Z out there, that's pretty close. So you have options there. And then if we go to 15 cents, it gets a little more bleak. It gets a little more uh, tough. So Radiant's up there. And then uh, Dynex is up there as well. And so, you know, lots of, that's why a lot of people are on Dynex. Because at 15 cents, which is a vast majority of people out there, you, there's a reason why people are mining Dynex. Because it's, it's low on power. And right now it's pretty profitable. Uh, so that's something to keep in mind. Um, Radiant, you know, just solo, just uh, single mining that would be great. And just have it on Zill as well. You know, you're up there still, you know, compar comparable to Dynex. Because Radiant's hash rate hasn't changed much. If we look at our highest yield sheet, um, currently it's at 103, but the average has been 102 over the last 30 days. So it's right where it's been. Uh, it's gone down a little bit. There was a couple days there. It was actually in the low eighties. And so that was great. Uh, but it's, you know, in general, it's been around the hundred, hundred mark. So that's why radiant, the price has gone up and it's very profitable right now because the hash rate hasn't followed the price yet. I, I bet you in a day or two, it'll change, but it hasn't followed yet. Uh, Dynex has been, these numbers are a little skewed because that was before the trade, the change in their algorithm, um, with that big update they did a couple weeks ago. Um, but in general, it's been climbing. It's been climbing quite a bit. It was down to around 0.7 and now it's up to one. And I've seen, actually, it was at 1.15 the other day. So it's kind of bounced around. So that's just something I've been looking at here. Some, just some thoughts on it. I would, if I were you guys, grab these sheets, you can download it, use them yourself, change the numbers around, change your price, your power rate around, and make it work for you. Um, and yeah, this is me trying to help you guys out. This is how I'm thinking, what I'm looking at. And then uh, we were talking about taking the most profitable coin and, and switching it out. I am currently using Trade Ogre to do all that because it's cheap. There's very little fees. And it has a decent amount of the coins, and it works pretty well. I, I've had very good luck with Trade Ogre. You can use whatever you want, but there's very little fees involved um, to move move coins around and that kind of stuff. Um, and the the trade volume and stuff isn't bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. So that's why I, that's why I prefer to do. So um, you know, it has Dynex on there. If I want to get some of that, Nexa Neuro AI um, it has a Lithium. I just traded into Lithium the other night. Um, and so even then, if Caspa comes down in, in price a little bit, I could trade out into get some Caspa, you know, if I think, thinking of that long term. So you have options there to where you can, you know, mine what's most profitable for you, trade it out, pull out what you want to keep long term, and then save on that. So that's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm doing. It's not something I normally do. I normally just cash it out for Bitcoin and then, you know, use it to make purchases. But since the shed is full, this is what, I, what I've been doing here. Um, and for this month, I'm going to mine whatever's most profitable and then switch it out. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you guys have any questions or anything, let me know. Um, write, you know, write a comment down below. Otherwise, you guys have a good day.